Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back to a great week of learning. Welcome back to Westline, everyone. Glad you're here today. If you are new to the building, happy first day. Uh, most of you have uh, been here the last two days. It's awesome. Um, this is a Monday. So during advisory on Mondays, we organize, we get ourselves ready for the week. We um, do all those things we need to get do to get ready. And so uh, that's what we we'll do in the day. We'll be looking at lunch menus. We'll be looking at binders, how they should be set up. And so let's uh, get to our announcements. All right, today is Monday, August the 5th, 2024. And these are your morning announcements. Wesley Middle School is an avid school by side distinction. And the mission of Wesley Middle School is to reveal the genius of each culture, of each wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. All right, we're going to be wildcat ready. Everyone, our land engine IDs around our necks, even if they're temporary IDs. Binders and student organizers are with us. Uh, backpacks and purses are in our lockers. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods and phones are in our lockers. And blankets stay at home. Today is a white day. So we call this a white day when it's blocks 6 through 10. Uh, so we have advisory starting off. We'll have advisory for today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. And then we'll go ahead and have block 6, 7, 8 is the lunch block. And then block 9 and 10. All right, don't forget here's our bus slides. Regard, now, if, if you have, now there's something, a little tip for you all who have not been here before. Regardless of what bus you ride, always look for the slot, because even if it's a sub bus, let's say bus 10 is bus 121, then we are riding bus 121. All right, so, and, and by this Thursday, there'll be a whole new slew of you getting new bus information because of when you registered. Uh, some of you are getting new buses today. It's all going to happen at some point, but your buses are always going to be in the same slot regardless. All right, athletic call-outs are today for all sports. You can report to the cafetorium after lunch, or I'm sorry, after lunch, after, this, after the fourth bell uh, for egg dismissal. And now here's the deal. You're going to need to know if you're going to take a bus home tonight, you need to know your address, and you have to live in district. If you don't live in district, and don't know your address, they cannot take you home. And you also have to have a temporary ID or an ID to, to ride the bus. Um, and also, too, that behavior on the after school bus, it, that you get one shot. If a bus driver tells us that you're not handling it correctly, then you're out that bus. Um, it, that this is a privilege for you to do. Um, if you are getting picked up, have your parents here by 6 o'clock uh, to get going on that. All right, let's take a look at lunch and breakfast for the week. We see uh, today for lunch is a drumstick with a roll, pizza, turkey pepper with jack sub, yogurt parfait, and mashed potatoes and gravy. And then, of course, for tomorrow for breakfast, we have breakfast sandwich or muffin or cereal, juice, and applesauce. All right. Clean up Wesley. Make sure our language and messes are in the hallways, cafeterias, restrooms, and, lock and classrooms. We are keeping ourselves clean and picked up. And also, we're not using language that is going to not affirm someone else. So before you speak, think, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary and is it kind? If it's not, don't say it, don't post it, don't text it to someone else. All right, today we're really going to start focusing on binders, as a lot of you will get binders today if you don't already have them. Uh, we may make sure that we're checking off our school-wide binder check sheet. We may make sure we have a good quality three-ring binder. Do not destroy it. Don't take the cover off. Labeled tab subject dividers for each class. I think we're ordering some of those. You want to have a zipper pouch to store your supplies, two or more writing utensils, notebook paper or, or Cornell note paper, handouts and classworks behind each divider, and also make sure you have your agenda book in there and you take it to every class except for PE when you're not doing health. All right, so we don't like we don't want to lose that there. Every day you're writing in your agenda book. That is not an option here, ladies and gentlemen, for you not to do that. Okay, so make sure that you are doing that, make sure you're keeping your binder organized. It's also know what to keep, but also what to throw away. All right, make sure you just keep the following rules apply all day, every day. Keep your hands off each other. Uh, each student gets an average of one pass a week. They're in your student organizer, student agenda books. And the passes in the first 20 minutes, there's no pass in the first 20 minutes or last 20 minutes of class. In the cafeteria, you're going to sit at the correct tables. That means for your grade level, you're going to face the center, right? So. We have a little bit more free seating, but you are sitting in your grade level area and you're facing the center. Also, too, if you get there, if you get in there a little later than at another class and people are already sitting in a lot of different tables, find a spot. It's that simple. 
All right, stay in your seat. Make sure you have your ID or make sure you have your ID number, at least for right now. And then when we're dismissing from class, please make sure that you're waiting for your grade level. You line up and your, your, your tables are all clean. I'm going to tell you what, yesterday was the best, or Friday was the best lunch as far as terms of cleanliness left. Uh, there were a few seventh grade tables that had some stuff below it. Make sure you're checking that um, before you leave, but the tables were very clean. And then we're going to walk back, and then we're going to be greeted by our teacher in certain areas uh, as we come back. That's both A and B lunch. All right, pass protocol. 10% rule of passes. So teacher can only write two to three passes per class. Once those two or three are up, there's no more passes, right? So that's, that's it for that. Uh, students, all restroom passes out of class are five minutes or less. And the bell does not dismiss you from class. So when that uh, tardy dismissal bell rings at the end of the period, that is not your dismissal. That is just telling your teacher that it is time for them to dismiss your class. And once they feel you're ready, they'll dismiss you from class. Breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafeteria off the bus to get breakfast. Actually, when we're coming in anymore, when your buses are coming in, you're going to be slotted into the doors 13 and 17 that go through the gym and then up through the cafeteria. So we're not going directly to our um, hallways this year we're kind of moving around so we're not getting there some of you getting there super early because buses accidentally drop you off all food should be in the cafetorium no food should be outside the cafetorium remember you are also allowed water bottles but we don't not any bottles with glass so that means those calypso lemonades transfer them to something else before you bring them into school because glass breaks we had several injuries last year we had several incidents and we had to clean up glass that's not going to happen this year uh, we're not going to have glass that is prohibited from West Lane, prohibited from the middle schools in general. Uh, student ID is also should be around your neck to get receive a hall pass or to check out library books. And all cell phones, of course, are in your locker between 925 and 425. They'll be taken if they're seen or heard. I've already taken one. And that student, the next time they do that, is going to be suspended. Um, so uh, make sure your cell phones are in your locker between 925 and 425. Don't forget our motto. In Spanish, it's cada wildcat, cada día mejor, which means every wildcat every day gets better. All right, wildcats, have a marvelous Monday. We'll see you throughout the building. Hopefully, we'll, again, we'll have great lunches today. Uh, we'll have great learning as you get to know your second half of your scheduled teachers. And so we're going to have a great day. They're going to have a nice job meeting you. And then we're going to get, we're into it academically, right? So when our organization academically, school's gone, school started. Let's go. All right. Everybody, have a fantastic day.